Hello, my name is David Finney and I am a Big Fix Technical Advisor based out of Denver, Colorado. In this video, I'll be discussing installing Big Fix clients manually on Linux systems. Before we begin, the QR code at the bottom of the screen will prompt an email or you can see my email address just below my name there. So if you have any questions about what I covered today, I'll happily follow up with you. To start, get a copy of your masthead.afxm file that you have typically under your Big Fix server installation directory on your root server. I normally say that it's best practice to make a folder on your computer, place both the installer and the masthead.afxm, uh, both those files underneath the same folder. Uh, in the process, make sure that you rename the masthead.afxm file to actionsite.afxm. Then, uh, using the link that you see here, go ahead and download the appropriate installer for both your version of BigFix that you are using in your environment and the uh, Linux version that you intend to install the client against. Once you have both these files, you can either PSCP, uh, WinSCP, uh, if you're using a Windows computer, the files over to the Linux box. Um, if you're using a Linux or Mac system, you could just uh, use terminal and SCP those files into place. After all the required files are in place on the system, the next step would be to make the directory where the client license file will reside. MKDIR or uh, MakeDir, uh, the slash Etsy slash opt slash client directory. Copy the action site.afxm file to that folder. Perform the installation your preferred method, uh, be it graphically or command line. I'll be showing you both. After the installation finishes, start the new service by command line with root privilege by typing forward slash etsy forward slash init.d forward slash bez client space start. Uh, the other option is to just type service space bez client space start. And uh, within a few minutes, if all is well, then you will see your new system show up in your big fix console. There is also a command line only version from the Linux system that is also quite powerful and useful provided that the system has internet access. Basically we're having the client create its own action site.afxm using wget and download and install its client software directly from the download source as seen here. Keep in mind the slide example is a Red Hat example and in the download URL, it's matching the specific version of Big Fix that I'm using, as well as the appropriate Red Hat version I'm installing the software on. Make sure to modify these lines. Uh, also to call out specifically on that wget line, you'll see that I'm using the fqdn of this server. So you got to change that line and then also make sure that you change the line beneath that to match your environment. After the installs finish, you're basically going to go ahead and start the Bez client service. Okay, to start, I'm going to go ahead and show you an example from a CentOS box. Um, currently, I'm SSH'd over to it. I've already copied my installer and action site file to that system. Um, so we can go ahead and kind of show you that. Um, so you see I got my Bez agent uh, 9514 installer there, as well as my action site file. Um, so the first thing I am going to do is to go ahead and create the directory for the uh, action site file. I'm going to go ahead and copy the action site.afxm over to that directory. Let's go ahead and make sure that went where we think it did. Perfect. Okay, and so now back to the directory I'm working in, which is just a temp directory. Um, I always find that just a bit easier to uh, copy items over to. That's why I use that. Uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and do a rpm-ivh call against the Bez installer. All right, done. And the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, there should be a new service error, which there is, you see that best client service there. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start that up. And uh, granted, there is a million ways to start up a service. Uh, this is just the habit I got into. And that's pretty much it. If all is well, that uh, actual new system there will be showing up into your Big Fix console here shortly. All right. 
for your uh, next example, I'm going to go ahead and give you this is just a uh, standard Ubuntu box. I uh, just did this one up for this purpose. Um, as you'll see, kind of the same deal. Use the same temp directory. Here's the uh, Bez agent installer for Ubuntu and the uh, action site.afxm. Um, now, granted, I am graphical here, uh, but that does not get us out of uh, still needing to use the terminal. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and get that rolling. So basically, I'm going to use this to, one, get the privileges I need to do what I need to do. Um, we'll still run the installer graphically just to, you know, kind of show what that looks like. But for the moment, I'm going to elevate my privileges. Cool. All right. So we got that. Um, the very th first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump myself over to the temp directory just because I'm used to working from that direction. Um, as per the instructions here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, spell that right, uh, create the directory that I need to, uh, which should be this one here. And uh, back over to our directory here, we're going to go ahead and copy the action site.afxm there. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over to that directory just like before. And let's just make sure it's there. All right. And uh, just to switch things back to uh, graphical here, go ahead and launch this guy. And kind of the typical song and dance that you'd probably expect here. All right, so we got the credentials here to go ahead and do. And there it goes. Perfect. Okay, so we're good there. Um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go check out the directory. Probably looks familiar to the other example I just did. And... Um, I'm just going to start this the way that I like to start this. And there you go. Start it up. Um, little note on this too, for either one of those prior examples, if it fails to start, it's probably because it's not seeing the license file. Um, that directory that we created initially where we placed the license file, that is very important for the starting of the big fix service. So basically make sure that if you get a fail on this step, that's the first place to check. Okay, back working on the other CentOS box. Well, actually it's the same one from earlier, but the uh, big fix has been uninstalled off of it. Just kind of show you that there is uh, no directory there for big fix anymore. All right, just so you can kind of see that. And uh, basically I created a list of steps here uh, just on a text editor, just to go ahead and uh, attempt to actually run these. So uh, keep in mind you do have to have wget installed on the server in order to run these steps uh, like I'm about to run them. Uh, so I'm just going to start copying and pasting uh, from the top here. All right, got our directory. Let's go ahead and let's see if we can get wget. Let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, that's exactly what we'd hope to see there. Let's go ahead and just double check our... Not. Okay, so that's exactly as we'd hoped it would be. Let's go and let's see if we can do the actual installer now. All right, let's see what it does. Perfect. So it looks like that installed just fine. And the real test will be starting the actual service. And we're green. Green means good, it means it picked up the client service and everything else that was needed. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go check on it. Okay, so now just so you guys uh, also know this, the directory I'm getting ready to go to is the actual storage location for the log file. So you're actually gonna see me talk about this in the next slide, but I figure I should go uh, check it out anyway just to see how this system is doing. So I'm just gonna just tail follow the uh, log file there. Okay, cool. So what I'm seeing here on these last little 
bits and pieces of this log is that it looks like it is definitely connected and uh, retrieving fixlets. So uh, whenever you see the word relevant, that definitely means it connected. So all's, all's good. Okay, and kind of like I mentioned as to the end of that uh, last demonstration there, this is the location of that log, uh, just in case you need to check it out. I use this all the time for uh, a multitude of situations, but this is a great way to see exactly what the client is up to and uh, above and beyond that, making sure that everything's connecting and uh, if there's any actual problems with the client, this is typically the first place I look. Thank you again for your time today and for joining me on the session for Big Fix Manual Client Installation Against the Linux Systems. If there are any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out because we are always happy to help.